standing together to stop domestic violence. October is dedicated to awareness. Here to talk about it today is Dr. Dan Joseph from Hartford Hospital. Thank you for joining us this morning, doctor. Thank you for having us. So we were talking, of course, about Domestic Violence Awareness Month. Why is this topic just uh, so important to you? It's so, it's important because one in three women are the victims of domestic violence, actually one in four women, one in seven men, and three women are killed every day at the hands of someone that they know. And so this is something that's not paid enough attention to and I happen to see several patients who are the victims of violence and so this is something that's near and dear to my heart. You know when we talk about the statistics of this it's just absolutely staggering with how many people this does affect and you might not even realize this too. Correct, correct. Uh, one of the things we're trying to do at Hartford Hospital is trying to improve our screening process. We're presently in, uh, involved in a study called the dual methods uh, study where we look at patients both having them uh, fill out a form anonymously mm -hmm. and actually have them speak with someone and that has been shown to increase the response rate and we hope by doing this that we can actually increase the number of people we identify with uh, who are victims of domestic violence. Now as I mentioned the uh, statistics here uh, one in four women uh, victims of domestic violence and really we find uh, that really it becomes more dangerous when the woman is trying to leave the relationship or has just left the relationship. That, that's correct and it's, it's uh, which actually works against helping women who want to move out of their situation right. because that's when things become uh, really critical. Uh, your, your statements are absolutely correct. That's when it's most um, uh, critical that people become... Mm -hmm. If people do need help, uh, what are some of the avenues for reaching out and trying to, to get help in a situation like that? There's several avenues. One of the biggest ones here is the Safe Haven, which uh, my co-director of our injury prevention center at Hartford Hospital, Gary Lapidus, is actually on the board. Uh, it's the largest in Connecticut, and it works to help women, give women resources, counseling uh, with what to identify as abuse, both in themselves and their children. And nationally, there are several organizations that also um, make themselves available to the cause, thankfully. And of course, the reason why we're talking about all this is because uh, this is Domestic Violence Awareness Month. You are wearing your purple today, and uh, purple <laughs> is the color for domestic violence awareness. And there's uh, several ways that you can show your support for this and kind of really let people know that this is an issue that we should be concerned about. Yeah, October 16th is actually wear your purple tie day. So the men, they can wear purple at any time, but right. that's another way that you can actually do this. They're calling it a purple, pie, purple Tie Tuesday. Say that uh, three <laughs> times fast right purple there. Purple Tie Tuesday. Tuesday. Purple Dye Tuesday, and then also Purple Thursday, too, uh, if you're interested in anybody wearing purple on October 20th. It's the National Week of Action coming up from October 16th to 22nd, uh, the National Month of Awareness, but of course, something that we should really be thinking about all the time. All the time, yes. That's absolutely correct. Doctor, thank you so much for joining us this thank morning you and really getting me. the word out about this. And uh, Scott and I will be back with more news and weather coming up right after the break.